Our mission was to explore all 12 provinces in the Netherlands by the end of the year. Today, we conquer number 11. And we can't believe it's taken us this long to visit the city of Groningen. Today, we're gonna be snacking on a delicacy the city is known for and visiting a very unique, how do I make a penis joke here, exhibit at this museum. And we'll wrap things up with our first proper Turkish meal. Goedemorgen and welcome back. This morning we have made it to our 11th province, Groningen, and the city of the same name. So if you find yourself in Groningen and you're at the train station, you might want to take some extra time to look around because this train station was voted the most beautiful train station in the Netherlands. We're going to talk a little bit more about Groningen at our first stop, so let's go. We are at Black and Bloom, which apparently has the best coffee in the city. We're currently on day two of our three-day adventure in the northern part of the Netherlands. Yesterday, we left Dordrecht and set up camp, not literally, in Zwolle. And this morning, we took an hour-ish long train even further north into Groningen. For context, the distance between Dordrecht and Groningen isn't even the distance between Dallas and Austin in Texas, but it sure feels far when you're here. Groningen is known for its university, which over 30,000 students call home. And it also has a museum, which currently has a very interesting exhibit that we just couldn't pass up. Some of you might know we're not big on going to museums in the vlogs, but as soon as I saw this exhibition, I knew we had to go see it. This is the Groningen University Museum. It was founded in 1932 just from faculty donations. Thanks for all the Eugenian dicks. This exhibit starts with a guest book filled with drawings of penises, and this was my chance to draw my very first penis. We'll get back to this exhibit in a second. Let's start upstairs at the museum's regular collection, which features a lot of the research done at the university. We didn't record this room out of respect for what was inside, but it contained a lot of preserved bodies and body parts, including some early 1900 sailor tattoos. Um, all right, this is a pretty sudden transition. We're here to see the Phallus Norman Forum, which takes you on a journey through sex, gender, science, and it really focuses on... This exhibit contained a lot of penises, like this walrus penis, or these penises, and penis accessories, like this old machine that would measure erections to help diagnose erectile dysfunction. There are a couple of tablets where you could anonymously provide uh, details oh. about yourself that I assume <laughs> will go to the university students for something important. And there was also this slightly upsetting chart. That was so much fun. That was really good. That was so interesting. Oh, and Michelle bought something. If you're wondering what's up with the not, pink bag. Not from the museum. Not from the museum. <laughs> before the museum. Yeah. So this is really weird to say, but I'm hungry after that. <laughs> Can we go eat lunch? <laughs> yeah, let's go. Okay. Kronigan is known for Irable, which is a deep fried egg snack that you can find out pretty much all the snack shops around the province. So we got these and a few other snacks. It's lunchtime. This is the Frickendel special that we don't get too often, but I feel like every time we get this, we're reminded of how good it actually is. So good. Mm -hmm. Let's get to the main event here. We're here for Iyer Bowl, or we have two, so Iyer Bowlin. I'm the egg lover of the relationship, so she nominated me to try it. 
Here we go. Whoa. That's not what I expected. I was expecting like a deep fried hard boiled egg. Oh wait, it is a deep fried hard boiled egg. It's still in there. I'm still working my way towards it. One second. It is a deep fried hard boiled egg, can confirm. It's actually quite interesting because this outer creamy layer kind of tastes like a samosa. And then it's got this like really crispy fried outside. So honestly, it's like a little samosa meal because you got the protein from the egg. The egg's not adding a ton of flavor. It's a little eggy. I think I'm gonna keep eating more. The yolk might add a little bit more than this, but man, the samosa flavor is like awesome. Look at that cross section. That's a much sexier shot. It's kind of beautiful. It is kind of beautiful. Yeah. I'm not getting like as much of a samosa vibe as you are, but I mean, it's a really good combination. Like it's a pretty light flavor yeah. overall. Yeah, not bad. She went in for a second bite. Mm -hmm. I like it. Would I get an eyeball ball again? Oh, where did Michelle go? There she is. Hey, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but there's just a huge penis in the window over there. Oh yeah, there really is. Anyway, eyeball. ball. Yeah, I would get it again. Not sure Michelle would. No, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> also, just want to correct myself. Freakendel. Freakendel. It's another bad habit that I picked up after not learning Dutch the first year we were here. And now I can correct myself. We have not spent a ton of time walking around Kroningen at this point, so I think we're gonna see some of the sights. Just still not paying any attention. <laughs> Alright, let's go. This is the Martini Torn. It was built in 1469, and this tower is pretty legendary because it's technically the third attempt to build a tower in the spot. The first one was destroyed in a lightning strike, and then the second one, a fire, and this one was almost completely destroyed in World War II, but they were able to restore it. And it's a part of this church. This is the Martini Kirk, which was built in the 13th century. That's it? That's it. I mean, the tower is the real showstopper here. <laughs> a site per se it's more of a personal interest thing So I actually had a moment where I was actually pretty into retro gaming. And when we were in Japan last year, I picked up a Famicom, which is the original Nintendo from Japan. And I got a couple Japanese games, which is pretty cool. So I always like to look around and see what other fun retro gaming things I might pick up for my collection. I still need to get that Famicom working though, that you need to have a special adapter for your TV and gotta get the plug. It has to work on the European outlets, but I'll get it working someday. Anyway, thank you Freed Coding for the recommendation. We have made our way to Norderplatzon, which is a park just north of the city center. And this entire area actually used to be a part of the city's old fortresses. And believe it or not, a road used to split this park completely in half. But in 1994, the city voted to close the road and then the park was rejoined. Hudso, Kroningen. Is this, is this the road? Because I can't no. believe it. No, this is- Because there's a road right there. No, that's, it's not the road. Uh. I think it's over there. Okay. But I'm not sure. But there is a road here. There used to be a road here. Ready? Mm -hmm. Are we going? Mm. We are at Cafe de Coffer, and this place has so many beers. They have over 400 beers on the menu, and I think like half of those are on rotation. So if you come here next week, like half the menu is gonna be completely different. And they have beers from like all over the world, Spain, America, the Netherlands, you name it. 
it's likely that they're going to have it. Where else are countries in the world? Uh, Sweden. Okay. Um. Okay, you got four. That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, it's better than yesterday, so. What happened yesterday? I could only name three countries yesterday. I don't know what she's referencing, but... I don't know either. Okay. I Let's, let's drink. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. And they had the Vander Street Playground, but I decided to try this other one because apparently it's dry hopped. It's got more of a hop flavor. Basically the same color as yours. Prost. Prost. Ooh. By the way, we didn't really have anywhere to mention this in the vlog, but everyone in Kronigan was so nice. The coffee shop owner was really nice. The guy at the brew pub was really nice. The person at the restaurant that you're about to see was really nice. It was just every interaction with a person we had in Kronigan was just super nice. It was definitely like small town hospitality, but not a small town. Yeah. Holy shit, you guys. <laughs> they have a beer from our home state of Ohio. Jackie O is a place between places. It's from Athens, Ohio, not Athens, Greece. Yeah, we're not from Greece. We're from Ohio. And they've got one from Austin, Chester King. We used to live there. We did. Tonight we are having dinner at Taken Up, which is a family owned restaurant that serves up a whole bunch of Turkish food. And she's not gonna say what she got. I got the hummus. <laughs> dinner has arrived and I got the vegetarian dish with halloumi cheese and that's actually how the waitress said it because i asked her how do you pronounce it and she was like i don't really know i just say it's the one with halloumi cheese in it which fair it looks really really good though so i guess i'm just gonna get a little bit of everything on my fork all right this is super good it's like the halloumi is like kind of crispy on the outside and it's like squeaky and it like adds a creaminess to it and everything else in it is just like super fresh tasting and there's like tons of really really good herbs in the like bulgar that's underneath it it's like a warm salad i got something i can't pronounce shish kebab and i got the mixed so it's a mix of lamb and beef and it comes with all these vegetables on the side too mm, it's like a bunch of little juicy bites of Steak. No, don't take the steak. Please. I'm just gonna go ahead and take the first one off the top here. I'm not sure if it's lamb or beef, but we're gonna find out together. It was the beef. Super tender. Great tasting beef. Very juicy. And the, the vegetables are not overcooked. These are very crispy, which is a very nice counterbalance to the tenderness of the meat. Now, we're going to wrap this up, and then we have to hop on a train and head back to our hotel. Tomorrow, we're going to be heading to our 12th province in the Netherlands. So, you want to make sure that you're subscribed to our channel for that, because it's going to be the big finale. Makes it sound like we're not going to do videos anymore after that. We're definitely going to still make videos, but make sure you're subscribed. we got another great video coming for you that we're going to be making tomorrow. That's all for now. As always, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Doei! Bye!